It's hard to draw any concrete conclusions from this 40-second clip about how exactly the shooting played out because it only caught part of it and there is limited audio, but it does raise some questions. It begins with Officer Amador Gonzalez arriving, and at that moment, McGill is standing calmly with Officer Scott Goodman. According to McGill's attorney, he then admitted to Officer Goodman he was carrying a gun and pulled it out of his waistband. But that prompted Officer Gonzalez to suddenly pull his own gun and start firing. Attorney Mark Garcia claims McGill was shot in the leg and chest before firing a single shot. The video then shows him limping over to the police SUV, jumping in the driver's seat and speeding off. The officers then fired more shots, blowing out the rear window in the process. It ended when the SUV hit a pole on Everhart. McGill claims he didn't intend to shoot or kill anyone and only fired when they fired at him. There is also a question of who shot whom. Officer Goodman was brought to Spawn Memorial with two gunshot wounds, one to the shoulder, one to the leg. Officer Gonzalez was brought here with one gunshot wound to the leg. That's three gunshot wounds. But McGill's attorney says that only two shell casings from McGill's gun were found at the scene. Garcia believes in the heat of the moment it was Officer Gonzalez who accidentally shot Officer Goodman at least once while aiming for McGill. CCPD has yet to fully detail how the shooting played out, but has always maintained that McGill is the one who fired first, and that's why he's charged with two counts of attempted capital murder. The two officers were out of the hospital within about 24 hours of the shooting. McGill, though, spent several weeks there. He remains in the Nueces County Jail tonight. To see that video in its entirety for yourself, just go to our website, KRISTV.com. Jennifer? All right, Bart, thank you for that report tonight.